everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I have received from In Love Art. It's another unboxing uh, with dyes, and I think they are great. So, disclosure is that I have received all, uh, everything for free, and I will put the links to where you can buy them, and if you use my discount code, you will benefit a 20% off on all uh, dyes, all the products that you have on the In Love Arts website. So first, let me show you this one. So it looks like little ribbons. I really thought it was cute when I saw it on, uh, on their website. And this is what it looks like. So you've got three ribbons. I didn't separate them, I left it like this. So I hope the camera will be able to pick it up. I used bright colors for this. And you have uh, some divots on the edges here, at least for these, they're about the same size. They're not so big actually, but it's fine because you can add these on a present, for example. And they are also stitched in the inside here. So I'm probably gonna zoom in a little bit more so you can see this more in details. There you go. So stitched in the inside and these big divots. So I think they're really nice. I am going to use them for a lot of decorations, maybe on cards. And I was thinking also on presents, something that is a bit unusual. So if you, I can give you some of the measurements if you wish. So in centimeters, they're all about the same. There's one a little smaller. They're in, yeah, they're about eight and a half, almost nine centimeters, which makes three inches and a half. It's a good size, actually, for a card. It's really nice. And you can also stack them up or put one like this, one like that, so you can make them longer. I'm going to show you in the kind of the same matter, these three dies, of course, you can separate them too. These are come in a set of three as well. They look like little banners or garlands, if you wish. So there's one that looks like a flower, a heart, and little dots. And this is what it looks like. They're really nice. The flowers cut a little hole and also you've got some prints in it like it looks like a little sun or a little flower. I think it's really nice. I would recommend using a thick cardstock for this. These kind of emboss at the same time. You can't see it probably very well on the camera but there is a little uh, imprint on these. And also this one there. So that's the little dotty one. So as for the measurement, it's around, it's about, yeah, nine centimeters, which is again, three and a half. And they're a good size. I thought they were gonna be bigger. I totally forgot to look at the size, but let's pretend that these two are the same. You can always do this to make them longer. And I think it's even more interesting than having just a huge big one. And of course you could put them in different uh, matters like this. I will show you in future videos how you can use these to give you some more ideas. But they're really nice. And again, it's a very good quality. You won't have any issues with cutting. And I will show you more in details here uh, some, others die, some other dies that I have bought. So usually they ship quite fast. When I mean quite fast is around two weeks. This time it was much longer, probably because of the COVID. I actually wanted them for Easter and I just got them a few days ago. So it's a nest. So you've got three dies for the nest that you stack up. I will show you probably this next year, way before, Chris, way before uh, Easter, so you have time to order them. You've got three eggs that have different designs. You've got a little ziggly wee thing here to as a decoration. You've got three kind of grass dies and a little flower. So yeah, again, I will show you this probably next year. Right now, I don't think it's very useful. But they're quite nice and a good size for a card as well. And I like the fact that everything is cut out for you like uh, you've got the, the eggs and things like that. I didn't have any egg shaped dies, but yeah, they're quite nice. I've also ordered, because I've never got any of these, it's a big die for a card. Oh gosh, I can't, I don't see my example here, but I will show you this again in a future video. I did cut, it cuts perfectly well. So it cuts out this piece here and also all these flowers and they're really nice. Um, I was thinking about, you know, maybe covering a card like this. You can, if this is too wide for your card, you can always trim it down here if you wish, just out on the edge here. 
So I thought this would be nice because I just, I'm in love with flowers. I never have enough dyes about flowers. And putting another color on the background or maybe using inks, why not? Uh, I will show you also a few examples of these using this dye. I think it's really nice, big size uh, for, it's, it's more than half of a card actually. Uh, so it's 14 centimeters, which is in metrics about five and a half by four and a half, which is 11 and a half centimeters. So good die as well, big one. And I didn't have any issues cutting. I usually cut in thick paper. It makes things easier for me anyway. So the next one here are these two little buddies. So there's a, a cat and a bunny. Again, that was more like Easter. But actually, you know what? I thought it could be great for all seasons. I think it could be nice also for Valentine's Day, like I love you something. You can put them next to each other. So this is what they look like. You have them here. So what I like about this is that I didn't separate them again. But you can put these two, sorry, there's my cat coming in, I need to open the door. Um, so you can put them far away or hugging each other like this if you wanted to for, again, Valentine's Day or best friend card, that would be nice. And they also come with two little set of whiskers. They're really tiny, they're not big. And one little itty part that goes into the nose that you can use. You don't have to, but I think it's nice and cut them the whiskers into a different color to make them stand out, of course. But they really are charming and I love that. I don't have a lot of animal dyes, but I thought they were really cute and I could use them for different uh, purposes. All right, now let's get into something a little bit more intricate. So I would recommend for the three sets of dyes that are coming to use uh, either wax paper or dryer sheets because there are a lot of little pieces. And even though these pieces are quite large, uh, it takes some time to get them out of here. This is what it looks like. So using wax paper again or a dryer sheet makes things really go faster and you don't have to spend 10 minutes taking all the pieces out. I have a video on how to use these two sheets to use with your intricate dies. I will put the link on the upper right corner or maybe in the bottom box below in the description box so you can go and check it out if you want to. It really works like a charm probably dryer sheets better, but it's a bit more expensive. So I didn't have any dye like this and I wanted to, you can use this different ways. Of course, if you just cut it out like this, you can stamp, you can put it, just glue it on a card. But I was also thinking of using this as a stencil because you could put a lot of colors on the background using, for example, Distress Inks and make it really shiny for summer. You could use this also for all kinds of season and for fall because there are leaves. So I like dyes that I can use again and again throughout all the seasons and not being too, too specific. So I will show you different ideas how to use this and maybe cut it in half as well, why not? You don't have to keep your dies all in one piece. You can cut, maybe just also cut the feathers out, the, the, the leaves out, why not? That could be another idea, I just got it right now. It's a good thing, I will try that out. Now, I, I don't know which of these two are my favorite, but when I saw these sets of bows, I was just, crazy about it. I thought they were so nice. And my first try was to cut them out of pattern paper. And I don't really think it's a great idea because you can hardly see the pattern and you can hardly see the holes. So this is the big one and this is the smallest one. Let me right away give you the measurements. So the big one is 10 centimeters, which is five inches by three and a half. Eight centimeters, uh, nine centimeters, and the smallest one is seven centimeters by um, eight, which is two and three quarters by three and a quarter inch. So that's the size. And here I thought, well, I like the paper, but I can't see the bow. So I cut it out again into just one plain color, and it looks completely 
different and so amazing. I love them. I think they're great. Look at this. And of course, you can cut these in one single color and stack them up. I've only done once of each, but I will show you that again in a, in a future video. I want to take some time using these bows. And bows you can use again. You can use these all year long. You can use these on a present. You can use these on a card. Uh, you can use these for Christmas also. So look at that. Imagine having maybe two or three in each um, in each size. Stack them up. Put a little bit of glitter on it to make them look a little shiny and pop. I think they are just beautiful. They're exactly the same um, pattern in two different sizes. And yes, again, using the dryer sheet is going to help a lot because there are a lot of little, little tiny pieces in here. And I think they are beautiful. I'm just crazy about these. I love bows. I make my own, but I would never be able to do this. And now the last two dies, but not least, are these flamingos. They are huge. Specifically, of course, more this one. This one is a little smaller, but they are beautiful. They also cut like butter. Again, use uh, thicker paper to do this. And this is how they come out. So there's a big divot here in the head and the neck of the animal. If you don't like that, you can always use the piece and stick it back in here on your card, for example. I think it would be nice, and I will show you the difference next time. And as for the size, the big one is 15 centimeters by, let's say, um, 8 centimeters. And the small one is mm, 13 by 7, 7 7.5, which is 5 by 3. And yeah, um, 5 and 3 quarters, almost 6 inches by 3.5. So, really good size. A very big one. I was thinking about using the big one just as is alone on a card with a nice background and also using the smallest one like cutting two and having them close a card like this. Uh, it's going to be hard doing this right now because my paper is a bit flimsy but I was thinking about using this and closing a card that would be a three window card something like that you know, that folds in the center. So I'm going to give it a try, see how I can do that and show you this as a tutorial in a future video. But they are just beautiful. So there you go. I hope this uh, video was interesting. Uh, it's always useful, I think, to see how dyes come out, how the paper is cut before buying because you don't want to make any kind of mistake and, you know, send them back. And I was really pleased with this and I had really good surprises as well. So please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. And also please share on social medias and don't forget to leave me your comments about which one of these dyes did you prefer. Thank you so much. Take care and see you soon.